Hi there, I'm Dave Gleason, head coach here at Athletic Revolution in Pembroke, Massachusetts. And today I wanted to uh, just briefly discuss with you um, the ways that you may or may not deal with injured athletes that are, that are in your youth fitness program or your, your strength and conditioning program. Um, you know, if you work with kids, injuries do arise, so what do you, what do, you do in those situations? Um, let me first say again, I, I, just like with so many of my videos, I want you to get, I want to get you thinking a little bit, okay? So uh, we're not going to go over different mod modalities and what you may or may not be uh, qualified to do with your kids that are injured, when you should or should not outsource to another professional like a, a doctor, a physician, a physical therapist, an ATC, what have you. Um, what do you do with an athlete that's injured that really should maybe not even be participating in your program at that point? Um, this is what can, again, make the difference between your facility, your programming, and someone else's, or some other program in your area. Okay? So I'm just going to give you two quick examples here. One, I have this uh, great young guy. His name's Jack, and just recently, at, I think it was at home, uh, he was playing and he fell back, landed uh, kind of awkwardly, and broke his wrist in two places. He's got a cast on. Now this just, this just happened last week. Um, he's been a member for quite a while. They, they're a long-term member here. And rather than just stop him from coming, um, I invited him to come, his sister comes here as well, to still be involved, even at six years old and it's going great. You know, what we do with him is, he's essentially my assistant coach out there. Instead of me saying go for certain activities, he's the one that says go. I rely on him to try to answer some questions. I rely on him to try to help me encourage other kids. Um, he's got a cast on and as long as he's in a safe environment and not every other kid in my class is safe, he participates. For instance, he can skip. He can jog, he can actually run a little bit. Um, I have him throwing with his non-dominant hand. Unfortunately, he broke his, his, the wrist on his dominant uh, side. He can throw a dodgeball with the other hand. Now, he's not playing dodgeball, but we do a lot of different activities with our dodgeball. So, as long as your athletes are staying safe, keep them involved in your program. What it's doing for young Jack outside of obviously athletic development and biomotor skill development, all these different things, is working on his character, his leadership skills, working on him as a human being, a young growing boy. Love that stuff. Um, his parents are really into it too. So uh, there's one example. Another one, I have a high school uh, junior who suffered a severe concussion. I mean, knocked out completely, woke up in the hospital, still thought he was on, on, the, in the, on the ice, in the rink. Um, he is not cleared to participate with us for at least another two weeks. This concussion happened over two and a half weeks ago. He was out of school, can't drive, I mean, nothing. Again, do we just stop him from being involved? All of our kids are a vital, vital part of what makes us special. It's about the kids. So with that, I said, Josh, you know, if your mom can get you here, come in. We'd love to see you. We'd love to see you. It was uh, encouraging for the rest of the kids to see this, this boy, Josh. Um, he hung out with me the entire time. Now, obviously, his participation was limited to talking and encouraging the other kids. And it was a time for me to educate Josh. You know, Josh, what did you see there in that movement with so-and-so? You know, what did that look like to you? What would you change there? Um, there's tremendous benefit for your young athletes, keeping them involved in some way outside of what they normally would be able to do with you if they're injured. So again, just some food for thought. Um, you know, this kind of stuff is, is just all over the IYCA website, uh, especially the members uh, website. That's iycamembers.com. Um, unbelievable resource there. There's a forum, an active forum in there. There's tons of information being loaded on, on, on the uh, website every single month. It's, it's a jewel. It's a treasure. So if you haven't checked that out yet, check out uh, IYCA members. Um, have a great day. I hope this helped you out just a little bit. 
uh, with your programming and dealing with any young athletes you may have that are injured. Thanks so much. This is Dave Gleason signing off for now.